three members of the elite unit of the former Siskai police asked the committee for amnesty this week for kidnapping and torture of three women. Nomtunzi Musutwana was one of these women. The three men were uh, tortured me. They tortured me on that day. It was Toba, Thompson, Makom. They were kicked, slept, and insulted by us. They were undressed and kept completely naked whilst being questioned. Is this, in fact, what took place? Uh, one job. Yes, sir, it's the truth. One of these ladies was ordered to lick the boots of one of the applicants, Mr. Macomb, and remove therefrom the blood that had flowed onto his boots. Is this also what took place in your presence? Yes, it is so, sir. That the... They beat me all over my body with open hands and they pull up my, my hair. And they were using Valka language. One, she was forced to take her clothes off. Two, a motor car inner tube was pulled around her face to cause her to suffocate. Yes, Mr. Yes, it is so, sir. Three, she was forced to lie on her back. Four, a substance known as the proper clapper was poured on her thighs and onto her vagina. This caused an itching and irritating effect. Burns resulted from this. Yes, it is so, sir. When I was naked, they were there laughing on my private parts. I was not laughing. I had to pretend. I had to pretend that I was enjoying my job. If I had to sulk, it would have repercussions. The men argued that the complex political wrangle between then-President Lennox Sebe and his brother Charles was the reason for the mass detentions and torture committed by the Siskai police in the mid-80s. When Kwane Sebe, the son of the president, was abducted, Lennox suspected that Charles was involved. Enormous pressure was put on the security forces to ensure the safe return of Kwane Sebe. They detained everybody even vaguely associated with Charles Sebe. Firstly, Ms. Msutwana, she is a sister to Nomalungelo Msutwana, who is a girlfriend to Mr. Charles Sebe. It is not what I did willingly. It was painful to me to do. But because of the circumstances at the time, as the Siskayan police, if you did not do your job appropriately, so to speak, you would be detained. I suggest to you that no one would have given you an order to treat these women in the most appalling and disgusting and inhuman manner that you did. Revolting. <laughs>